We're going to talk all about the midpoint approximation in this video. So you've probably learned the left hand Riemann sum and the right Riemann hand sum, but there are different ways to approximate the definite integral, and one of those ways is using the midpoint approximation. So instead of picking all the right endpoints, or instead of picking all the left endpoints, we just take the average of all of those points. We just pick the point in the middle of all of our subintervals. Here's the formula, and then you'll notice it's very similar to the left hand sum and the right hand sum formula. So this m sub n, where n is the number of rectangles or your number of subintervals, is delta x, and remember that delta x is b minus a over n, delta x times this whole quantity, which is the sum of your function evaluated at the different midpoints. So f of m1, f of m2, plus, 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 up to f of mn. And I drew a picture here to show you kind of what that looks like. So you remember a is your first endpoint, you call that x0, and then it would go x1, x2, x3, all the way up to xn. And the thing that we're picking is the middle value between all of these subintervals. So m1 is the middle point between x0 and x1, or it's the average of x0 and x1. And m2 is the average of x1 and x2. And you'll see that these rectangles go up as high as the function evaluated at all of these midpoints. That's why this formula says f of n1, that's the height of this rectangle. So I have an example here for you. Hopefully this will make it a little more clear. I want to do the midpoint approximation to approximate the definite integral of the function x squared. And I'm going to do it from zero to three. Remember that means a is 0 and B is 3. And I'm going to use six rectangles or six subintervals. Okay, so now I just need to calculate this thing. I'll start with delta x. That's the easiest part. Delta x is B minus A over N. That's 3 minus 0 over 6. That's 3 over 6 or 1 half which means in my midpoint approximation, I guess I should write down six, since I'm using six rectangles, I'm gonna have one half way out front of this whole thing. And then I'm just gonna to have to plug in my m1, my f of m1 plus my f of m2 plus my f of m3 plus f of m4 plus f of m5 plus f of m6. And then that will give me my answer. So now I need to find all of these different midpoints. Well, my first point is zero, correct? That was A. What would be x1. If you remember from the left hand and right hand Riemann sums, x not to x1 or even x1 to x2, x2 to x3 and so on, these were all a jump by delta x. Or in other words, these are a jump by one half in this case. So to go from zero to x1 or from go to x not to x1, that's zero plus a half. And basically I'm just gonna add one half each time. So one half plus a half is one. One half plus one is three halves. X four would be two. X five would be five halves. And X six, that's gonna be six halves or three. And that's also B. That's what we would use, and that's what we would plug into our function if we were doing the left-hand sum and the right-hand sum. 
but we're doing the midpoint rule. So I need to take the average of all of these numbers. Okay, I'm gonna take the average of these things. So the average of zero and a half, that's zero plus a half over two, that's a fourth. Here, the average between one half and one, that's, let's see, that's going to be three fourths. The average between one and three halves, and you can do this with a calculator if you want, if you want to check me. Um, one plus three halves divided by two, I think that's going to be five fourths. The average between three halves and two, I think that's going to be seven fourths. The average between two and five halves, that's going to be nine fourths. And you can notice here that these are actually all jumping by a half as well. And then the average between five halves and three, that's going to be 11 fourths. Okay, so now these, these things here are what I'm plugging in to my function. So now I'm going to have f of 1 fourth plus f of 3 fourths plus f of 5 fourths plus f of 7 fourths plus f of 9 fourths plus f of 11 fourths. Now all I have to do is I have to plug all these values into my function and add them all up. So this is one half times one fourth squared plus three fourths squared. And I'm squaring these because my function is x squared plus five fourths squared plus seven fourths squared plus nine fourths squared plus 11 fourths squared. Now I'm not gonna actually do that. Uh, you can plug it into the calculator and actually see what you would get. But this number, when you plug it into the calculator, that will be your answer for your midpoint approximation. So pretty similar to left and right hand sums. Uh, it's just that you're using different values to plug into your function when you do the summation. Okay, I hope you got something out of it. Please like and subscribe. I put new videos out just about every single day. And tell me what videos you want me to see want me to make. <laughs> Have a great day.